that's forgiving is extremely forgiving and extremely mm -hmm. easy to hit. Hey there golfers, I'm Drew Mahol of Second Swing Golf. I'm joined by Thomas Campbell, a master club fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. We've got two new irons for 2021 to test out today from Tour Edge, the Exotics C721 and the Exotics E721. So two different models to test today. Uh, they definitely look different and I'm sure they'll feel and perform different as well. Uh, so, and Thomas, I know, you know, Tour Edge has been putting together some really good stuff here over the years. Um, so I, sh I would expect nothing less with these two iron models. Yeah, I definitely expect nothing less. Now they are a US based company. Um, they also have their 48 hour delivery guarantee and lifetime warranty with their clubs there too. So important to remember with Tour Edge, definitely intriguing with regards to distance today. We've got a couple of pretty much, they're going to be going pretty far with regards mm -hmm. to distance. We've got the C721, which I measured the loft. It looked like it was around about 30 degrees. We don't know the specs yet as we're doing this video before we get everything in our hands. But And the E721 was like 28 degrees loft. So okay. right off the bat, we're going to notice probably a little bit of difference in distance. Mm -hmm, for sure. And then we'll kind of get into some of the tech stuff as well. Uh, but well, yeah, we'll, you know, you'll just hit some shots here, get your feedback, kind of compare and see what TrackMan tells us about these two clubs. Um, Thomas, are you ready to hit some shots? Let's do it. All right, so Thomas, you've hit four with both of the C721 and E721. Uh, just to kind of give a reference as to you know the naming conventions here. So C721 is kind of what Tour Edge calls competition spec, um, and what they mean by that is kind of the smaller, more compact shape. Um, kind of fits. I mean, it fits closer to a player's iron, right? Uh, I wouldn't say it's in that category, but it's closer to that than the E721, which the E they kind of tab as sort of extreme forgiveness, right? So um, there's, that's the differences there. And I think you know, with both in your hands now, can you maybe see that um, just by looking at the club heads? Uh, I think with the Tour Edge, with the C721, it fits a little bit more into a player's distance iron, mm -hmm. where the E721, E stands for extreme, and it's extremely fast off the club mm -hmm. face. And there was a couple of shots in there that I, that I miss it. Yeah. But the ball speed uh, was still over 130 miles an hour. Yeah. Even though when I got a little on the toll, yeah. it went extremely far. Yeah, and yeah. I mean, we're talking about extremes with that club, right? And you yeah. know, extreme toe weighting is another uh, aspect of the technology in there where they've thrown a bunch of weighting into the toe. And I think you actually mentioned that one was hit off the toe and it still flew out there. And I think it was actually keeping up there distance-wise with the other shots that you hit. So. Um, but I uh, wanted to get your opinion on the feel too now uh, because they're both kind of built similarly in terms of the way that Tour Edge packs different materials in there for feel. Yep. They both have you know what's called dual Vib R core technology. So there's kind of a TPU uh, material in there, but there's also a performance gel that they say. And they're both packed in there combining to sort of give, well, A, kind of that, that, that spring-like effect off the face, but also uh, the feel as well. I could notice it just seemed really fast off the face. It seemed like it was jumping. Uh, it just seems like there was extra ball speed coming mm -hmm. coming off, and I, the ball was going really far. That was the one thing that I kind of noticed. It was, you know, I, it felt really solid off mm -hmm. the face. Is what I kind of felt like. It felt yeah. like I was hitting it. Even the missits felt like right. I still the ball was still going to go far. Yeah, I mean, we can look at. There's clear. By the way, there's clearly a trend here with this dispersion map on in terms of uh, the you know, tr like easy to turn over maybe one uh, with the E721 being maybe a little more offset potentially, yep. uh, where it could uh, square that club face and perhaps turn it over a little bit easier maybe than the C721. Uh, but in terms of the numbers here, I mean, they're very comparable, but you can see that loft difference as well playing a role here. Yeah, I mean, if we look at the last shot that I hit here, so we notice the ball speed was 130.6. We notice that was significantly lower than the average ball speed with the E721, that was a miss hit. But notice how the carry distance was only two yards shorter mm -hmm. than the average distance there too. So extremely forgiving club. I yeah. mean, when I say E, it definitely stands for extremely consistent mm -hmm. and forgiving. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, well, we've got eight shots down. Uh, you want to maybe hit four more with each club here. We can maybe get a more, uh, a larger sample size and we can kind of really get some takeaways here. Let's do it.
Thomas. That was eight more shots, four with each one. Um, we're seeing sort of that trend continue a little bit where it just seems like when you hit the C721, it's not really, uh, you know, the club face is maybe a little open for your swing today, and it's not really turning over. It's just kind of staying straight, which is, yep. I mean, a straight ball flight is what everybody wants. So, uh, and then the E721, again, there's not a lot of curve. It's just the club face seems to be a little more closed for you. Yeah, I mean, with the exception of that one that I did get turned over with the C721, you know, everything else was just a little mm -hmm. bit, it's a little bit right of right of center. Mm -hmm. uh, it just yeah, there, there's a lo lot more evident offset in the E721 versus the C721. Yeah, that's just the one thing I kind of noticed, and mm -hmm. it just seems like it is definitely easier to turn that club head over. Yeah, for sure, yeah. for sure. Um, they wanted to look at some of these numbers. Actually, a little surprising now. I think there was maybe one they didn't quite catch perfect, or maybe one or two with the E721, but the spin is up there um, for the E721. So that's kind of no, worth noting. And I mean, we always talk about maybe lower spin for more distance, but spin can be a good thing in terms of getting the ball into the air and making sure that it also is able to be stopped on the green as well. Yeah. So the fact that E721 is, you know, has that much spin on it um, with maybe a power loft, so to speak, actually that's probably a really good um, thing to look at for, for golfers maybe interested in that set. Yeah, I mean, we're talking seven iron numbers that are still mid 4,000 yeah. with, with the amount of speed that I'm generating here. It's not like it's a crazy high or crazy low amount, but for the amount of speed that I generate, it's probably right where it would needs, to, needs to be. Uh, I'm a little surprised that the, the loft, because we know that the E721 is two degrees stronger when we checked in the yeah. Lion Loft machine, um, that the spin rate was basically kind of the same there too. And it's actually kind of interesting as well, considering the E721 was drawing a little bit more versus yeah. the C721 there too. But uh, I think the, the big piece might be, you know, carry distance that went further. I think we usually say every degree of loft is about three to four yards. We will notice there we picked mm -hmm. up. So we, yeah, we picked up by 6.3 yards with regards to the C721 moving from that to the E721. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was, um, you know, that's the, you know, these distance numbers, right? Um, I know, I mean, this isn't a loft that you play, but I mean, you're hitting a seven iron, 215 yards. Um, now, a player that, you know, does actually fit into these irons better, especially E721, is going to benefit from all that distance, that kind of spring like effect off the club face. And the one thing we didn't mention, like the diamond face technology there, which is, you know, within the face architecture, they put in a bunch of little diamonds, um, which is kind of really bolstering that ball speed. I think there's 92 in the C721 and 103 in the E721. That's actually what they've been using for their woods in the past, that face architecture, brought it into the iron. So it's only gonna give you that explosive effect. And I think we saw that here. Yeah, I think, you know, it level of forgiveness between the two of them as well. The E721, a little larger profile. I feel like there's a couple of shots in there. We talked about that earlier on where I didn't quite mm -hmm. catch it, but the distance was still kind of the same every, every single time. You can see the plus or minus consistency number, eight shots with each one. It actually was a little bit better on carry distance with the E721. Yep. So you can kind of see, if you look at the yellow circle from left to right, just a little, little bit kind of tighter, I guess. Yep. Um, so the carry distance was, was pretty solid across the board there. Uh, one thing I also, you know, knowing that this has got stronger loft on it, the E721, is the height and the landing angle was still very good. So even though it's two degrees stronger, we'll notice that it still was flying the same height, which, yeah. which, is, which is very, very important because we want to make right. sure if we've got a stronger loft of club, one, one, the center of gravity has been moved around to get yeah. the ball to fly in, in the air. Um, but it's important that the ball gets up in the air and carries further, especially if the ball does start to spin a little bit less. Yep, yep, that's, yeah, I mean, these are really great numbers, and that's a good point, is that when these manufacturers do strengthen the loft, it is, uh, they do so knowing that they're making the club launch higher, so that that window, the trajectory window that you're trying to hit, uh, is going to be hit with these irons. So, um, yeah, I mean, Tour Edge, 721 irons, uh, the Exotics clubs here are, are, they're great. I mean, they, they pack in the punch, and they do give two different, uh, profiles of player that they're going to reach, and I think they're going to be really good ones here in 2021. Yeah, I think the C721 is going to fit with regards to those distance players irons. It's going to be a good kind of comparison. We'll maybe we'll add it into some of our other videos that we mm -hmm. do in the future. Well, the E721 is going to be a little more in the ultimate game improvement category, essentially. Yeah. So mm -hmm. a little bit more game improvement, 
that's forgiving is extremely forgiving and extremely mm -hmm. easy to hit. Yeah, I mean, that's the, right, that's the E721, extreme forgiveness. Uh, so that's two great options for golfers in 2021 to take a look at with their irons. Um, also, if you have an iron set that you see, you know, the performance here from Thomas and think, I want some of that, uh, you can trade in your old set of second swing as well uh, through the second swing value guide, take advantage of those great values, and then upgrade to Tour Edge Exotics. 721 irons and uh, you will be hitting more greens out on the course and lowering your scores. So Thomas, thank you for hitting the shots today and breaking everything down for us. Not a problem. Mm -hmm.